Greeks Senate's confirmation of Chairman Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. 13th Brigade Nigerian Army hands over gang of armed robbery suspects to the State Police Command for further investigation. Plus, State Command of the Federal Road Safety Corps advocates strict adherence to road safety rules in compliance with COVID-19 protocols. Good evening. Many thanks for joining NTA Calabar News at 7. I am Maureen Leo Ajom and now the news in details. The Senate has received executive communication from President Muhammadu Buhari seeking the confirmation of the appointment of Abdul Rashid Bawa as Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, after reading the presidential request, announced that the screening of Abdul Rashid Bawa, acting chairman of the EFCC, shall be in plenary in accordance with Senate tradition. The Senate had twice in two different occasions in 2016 and 2017 rejected the confirmation of the suspected acting chairman of the commission, Ibrahim Magu. And moving on, mixed reactions have continued to throw the speech of President Muhammadu Buhari of his non-tolerance to ethnic and religious violence in the country. A cross-section of people in Calabar bore their minds in a vox pop while reacting to the president's statement. Correspondent tells us more. President Muhammad Buhari has promised to protect all ethnic and religious groups in the country. He also told governors and traditional rulers to prevent primordial sentiments from boiling over. The president, in a statement while reacting to reports of the breakout of violence in some parts of the country by some ethnic and sectional groups, is promising every section of the country of safety of lives and property, irrespective of ethnic or religious linings. Some Nigerians, in their reactions, noted that security of Nigerians, irrespective of where they live in the country, should be of priority to the government. Because uh, we are now having it um, against the headers, who are mostly the Fulanis. That's why the president appears to be uh, up. You know, the people of your state or the local states generally are against uh, the ranching or people coming around to disturb them. Most of them have come under the name of uh, headers. All those guys are sponsored. It is not common men on the street that sponsor them, it is power brokers. They must make that to prove that, oh, if not me, you cannot be president. If not me, uh, I mean, it is only that good that must be president, senator, all this and that. Those are the power brokers. They are the ones sponsoring these people. If you should look at that, it can create a problem in Nigeria. It can create a problem before 2023 election. It can create a problem even, it may even happen when the president may not even end up his complete in his tenure. If you should be very careful. The people called on Nigerian youth not to allow themselves to be used by political elements for their selfish interest. And in an effort to stem the increasing rate of criminal activities in Cross River State, the Nigerian Army 13th Brigade has handed over a gang of armed robbery suspects to the State Police Command. Achim Bombasi reports that the four suspects arrested for various crimes are to be investigated and prosecuted. One of the suspects was arrested on January 13, 2021 by troops deployed on Operation Apako while on patrol at Ibiaye Rubber Plantation in Biasi, local government area of Cross River State. Preliminary investigation reveals that the suspect with his accomplice, one Mr. Bassi, who is at large, were armed with locally made pistols while attempting to steal palm fruit from the plantation. I said, what do, you want, what do you want to use it for? He said, you just hold it. He was driving on his bike. Why me? I was driving on my bike. So when we went there, the banga that he said, I should come and follow him to carry. I did not even see the banga. So on our way back, I was the one that, he's the one that is in front. So when the army now came around, he now passed through another road. Me now, since I don't know anywhere in that place, he now called me there. Also arrested were three suspects by main of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps attached to Operation Apako on February 8, 
2021-4, allegedly robbing one Mr. Akanudo at number 42 Palm Street, Calabar, while the remaining five gang members are at large. Not knowing that, running out, he went to call and civil defense, which is Operation Paco. When they come inside the compound, the boys that did that, they ran away and I was arrested. The mandate of the state security outfit Operation Paco to root out criminal elements from the state is still ongoing with results to show. In Calabar, Achibombasi, NTA News. With the recurrent accidents on major highways in the state, resulting in the loss of lives, there is a need for strict adherence to road safety rules as well as compliance to COVID-19 protocols by all road users. This was at a Federal Road Safety Corps press briefing, Cross River State Command held in Calabar. Cecilia Julius tells us more. Despite efforts by officers of the Federal Road Safety Corps in educating motorists on the dangers of neglecting key road safety measures, especially while on the highway to mitigate road crashes, some motorists have continued to default these rules. However, in an attempt to further buttress their demands on road worthiness, Sector Commander Federal Road Safety Corps, Ciprem Ikechuku Ofodu, is making a passionate appeal to the media to propagate the regulations for safe driving in order to avoid carnages on the road. I want to use this uh, medium which you have provided us to talk to Nigerians and drivers in Cross River in particular. The loss of 12 lives within a space of 24 hours is not, it's not acceptable. And these, all these accidents are caused not because they cannot be avoided. No, they are avoidable. But it is caused by the drivers, the desperation of the drivers. And we've been doing all within our powers. We've been collaborating with uh, all the transport unions. We hold regular meetings with them. They visit us, we talk. We will decide on how to move forward, and it has been working. But the problem we have is that those drivers that pick passengers on the road that do not have a particular uh, garage, that the ones giving us problems. While outlining the outcome of recent road crashes, the sector commander, Crash River State, made a commitment to ensure that motorists and commuters adhere strictly to COVID-19 protocols. We are not interested in extortion. Nobody sends anybody to the road. We are now appealing to the drivers, please, if, they, if, they are, if somebody is asking, don't give. Irrespective of the poor state of some roads in the state, the core is appealing to all road users on the need to obey every traffic rule and desist from reckless driving, which often leads to loss of lives of passengers and other road users. In Calabar, Cecilia Julius, NTA News. You are still watching NTA Calabar News at 7. The news continues after this time out. Don't go away. Ah, 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 Hand sanitizer. Now, one way to take prevent coronavirus with that. See, another one we say we go wash our hands clean with soap and with water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one we say when we want sneeze, I think we want cough. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, may we dab together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct, mm -hmm. people. If you see, say you get symptom of fever mm -hmm. or difficulty in breathing, mm -hmm. I beg, make you day your day, make you sit down. Mm -hmm. Nigeria, our culture they promote cleanliness. Yeah. Let the celebration party. This message is from NTA and NCAC. Members of the public with any complaint concerning any of our programs should forward their complaints to the Nigerian Television Authority, Channel 9, Motala Mohammed, Iwi, Calabar. Phone numbers 0906 198 3183, 0906 883 6550. Email address ntacalabar at ntc.gov.ng. 
or to the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, plus 32 Parliamentary Housing Estate, Second Gate, behind Zanzibar Hotel, Calabar. Telephone number 0818-445-9924. Email address nbccalabar at yahoo.com. Signed, Management of the National Broadcasting Commission. Welcome back to the rest of the news. Nigeria operates a farming system that is mostly dependent on rain-fed cultivated, and this, based on studies, impacts negatively on the development of agriculture. To boost agriculture's productivity, experts say there is need to embrace irrigation farming, especially in the rural areas, to enable farmers beat the odds that come with cultivation of crops in the dry season. Justina Eton takes a look at investment in agriculture to guarantee all year round farming. Majority of Nigerian farmers are rural dwellers who prefer to grow their crops during the rainy season when there is access to sufficient water. In fact, findings reveal that most rural farmers prepare for cropping after few rainfalls. For the farmers, Cultivating during the dry season poses a big challenge and hinders good yields. The dry season farming gives more money than the rain season farming. Why? Because you're farming off season and you sell better. When the crops are not in the market, so you sell better. For instance, in rice, we practice it in Bansara by the riverside, where we now get water from the river to water the rice. We plant from April, by August we are harvesting. We need pump at least that will help us to at, at least less the, the suffering in the farm. We can't really plant and we have to pour water on it and we get water by buying it. For the Cross River State Government, which has a passion for agriculture, funding its numerous agriculture projects has been a challenge as majority of its farmlands are located in areas where there is inadequate water required for the crops to flourish. Federal government should see the provision of irrigation as a major issue to be attended to. If we are provided with modern irrigation facilities, I think it will increase our, our yield, our yield by over, over 100%. Over 20 years now, the irrigation facilities have collapsed. We are trying to partner with Basin Authority to ensure that all the old uh, irrigation facilities are revived and at the same time new ones are equally bad. As the present administration intends to make agriculture the mainstay of the economy, it must look beyond the rain-fed cultivation to enable farmers produce more high-value crops. In Calabar, Justina Etam, NTA News. And away from there, Cross River State Governor Ben Ayade has congratulated former Nigeria's Finance Minister, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iweala, on her confirmation as the Director General of the World Trade Organization, WTO. A statement signed by Special Advisor on Media and Publicity to the Governor, Christian Ita, described the new World Trade Organization Director General as the poster girl of unassailable attainment and a record breaker who has not only shattered a glass ceiling but has continually proved her mettle and brought honor to the country. According to the statement, Dr. Ngozi Okonjoiwela has brilliantly distinguished herself to the applause of her country and to the admiration of the world which the international community found her suitable for the exalted officer of the World Trade Organization. The governor expressed optimism that Dr. Iwela's wealth of knowledge will be of huge benefit to Nigeria. In another development, the state governor Ben Ayade has approved the appointment of Mrs. Mary Charles Asukwa Eniang, a special assistant on media relations. A statement signed by the special advisor media and publicity Christian Ita indicates that Mrs. Eniang's appointment takes immediate effect. Until her appointment, Mrs. Mary Charles Asukwa was a retired manager news and current affairs Nigerian Television Authority Network Center, Benin, Edo State. Cross River 
trusted Governor Ben Ayade is advocating a business development plan for Africa by Africans if the continent must get the respect of the international community. The governor stated this while commenting on the need for international tourism development in Nigeria and Africa. Paul Abel completes the report. Tourism is one way to boost the economy of a country if properly unearthed. The Obudu Ranch Resort in Koshiva State is a tourist delight, providing nature's ambience with several spots prepared to thrill visitors, such as the water park, lover's garden, the undulating road network, among others. Some holiday makers and workers speak on the features at the Obudu Ranch Resort, which is thousands of meters above sea level. Chill, uh, relax, and be taken care of, you know, by their loved ones. I think the ranch offers that opportunity in Nigeria. Take time. Bring your wife here on your anniversary. Bring your children here on their birthday. Show some love to yourself. Spend money on yourself. I enjoy the weather. I don't buy water. Anything I want, I get it from here. I get free uh, spring water. One of the creational places you will, you will have at attraction is the love garden. You come and have, you show your love, appreciation. With the Cross River State Government are making efforts to develop the ranch resort and boost tourism through creation of access routes and the construction of the International Cargo Airport. It is hopeful that with the COVID-19 travel restrictions, it will afford Nigerians the opportunity to look inward. So it's important that Nigerians should recognize that Obudu Cathedral presents a perfect opportunity for tourism within the country. You have no visa requirement, you don't have an exchange issue, you don't have crisis in the crossing state, we live at peace, we provide shoulder for our weaker brothers to lean on, you can hold each other through the pleasures and valleys and the beauty of the Obudu cattle ranch. The governor is further calling on Nigerians to evolve with their culture and stop looking forward to Europe, America, Asia for leisure and visit tourism sites within the country. In Calabar, Paul Abel, and your news. And to COVID-19 update, Nigeria has recorded 574 new cases of COVID-19 as at 15th of February 2021. Figures released by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control indicates that Kwara State recorded 98 new cases, Lagos 81, Edo 59, Ondo 44. FCT 41, Kanu 34, Ogun 33, Kaduna 29, Ocean 28, Enugu 23, Rivers 18. Other states affected are Delta 16, Akwaibun 15, Bochi 12, Imo 10, Boronu 8, Niger 8, Kirby 7, Nasarawa 5, Gombe 3, and Ekiti 2. This brings the total number of confirmed cases to 146,928, while 123,000 nine persons have been discharged and 1,761 persons have died from the disease. And that's about the size of a package. Before we go, a recap of our major stories. The Senate has received an executive communication from President Muhammadu Buhari requesting the confirmation of the appointment of Abdul Rashid Bawa as Chairman, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The Nigerian Army 13 Brigade has handed over a gang of armed robbery suspects to the State Police Command for investigation and prosecution. It was also in the news that the Cross River State Command of the Federal Road Safety Corps has advocated strict adherence to road safety rules in compliance with COVID-19 protocols. That's it on our news tonight. Many thanks for watching. Do have a good night.